All right, so properties of square roots. There's this product property of square roots, and it's the one that I think helps the most in algebra. And what we can say here is that if we have the square root of this number times this one, it's the same as the square root of the first number times the square root of the second one. And you're saying, what in the world are you talking about? That's stupid. We'll look at this just for a second and see if this doesn't make more sense if we look at it. The square root of 16 is 4. Isn't that true? And I'm saying to you that the square root of 16 is the same as the square root of 4 times the square root of 4. Square root of 4 is 2. This multiplication sign is this one. Square root of 4 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So right now, I'm, I'm thinking you're not very impressed by this. But if you hang on a second, I'll show you how this works out to our advantage a little bit when we're trying to simplify square roots. Let's just do one more quickly. And I'm going to do this one backwards and say the square root of 4 times the square root of 9 is equal to the square root of 36. Sorry, 36. Wow, it's terrible. 36. Square root of 4 is 2. This multiplication sign is this one. Square root of 9 is 3. And we know the square root of 36 is 6. And isn't it true that 2 times 3 is 6? Finally, on to something that you might care about when you're asked in class to find the square root of 18 or something like that, a number that doesn't have a perfect square root. So what I would do here is I would ask myself, does this number on the inside, this number called the radicand, does it have any factors that are perfect squares? And if you think about it for a second, 9 times 2, 9 times 2 is 18. Isn't that right? So what we're going to do here is we're going to simplify this a little bit, and we're going to say that the square root of 18 is, well, the square root of 9 is 3. The square root of 2 cannot be simplified, so we just leave it like that. So we can say with some confidence that the square root of 18 is simplified as 3 three square roots of two. All right, let's just try just a couple more because I think that you're going to see this works out pretty good. Take something like square root 72. Ask ourselves, does, does 72 have any factors that are perfect squares? And again, it does, doesn't it? It's, uh, what is it? Well, what is it? It's uh, square root of nine times the square root of eight, right? Because nine times eight is 72. Square root of 9 is 3. Oh, but look at this for a second. I'm going to take this for a second. 8 is the same as square root 4 times square root 2, isn't it? So square root of 4 is 2. Square root of 2 is just square root of 2. 3 times 2 is 6, so the answer is 6 square roots of 2 is the square root of 72. This kind of stuff comes in really handy because... Uh, on the SAT and a lot of uh, algebra, this really, really goes to solving quadratic functions. So I hope this is helpful. Um, I'd love to hear your comments.